A police officer is being recognized for his compassion and quick thinking during an intense encounter with a woman in Richmond. Thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Rob Desir. And I'm Julie Bragg. He managed to calm down a distraught woman threatening to kill herself. CBS 6 reporter Brendan King spoke with that officer and he tells us how he used his training to bring the scary situation to a peaceful end. Brendan. Rob and Julie, this is a story about heroism. This is a story about the need for all officers to undergo that mental health crisis training and these cases just like this. It's a requirement here at Richmond Police Department. And last week that training saved a life. I immediately thought about how I want someone to help me. Richmond police officer Jason Jones tells a story about bravery. You could see her phone in one hand and she was holding a lighter in the other hand. When last Tuesday night, the Henrico native encountered a woman in distress standing on East Broad Street. Well, I could smell the presence of gasoline on her and I could see the gasoline spilt on the sidewalk. He says she threatened to end her life right there on the sidewalk. She felt like her life wasn't worth it. And she just kept saying that over and over again. My life's not worth it. My life's not worth it. And I just had to keep reiterating, yes, it is worth it. Officer Jones says his crisis intervention training kicked in. I just asked her, hey, listen, I've helped you. I've listened to you and I understand what you're going through. Do you mind helping me and just dropping the lighter? And immediately she just threw the lighter on the ground and it was like a sigh of deep breath. <laughs> and it sounds like Officer Jones did exactly what he was trained to do. Dr. William Pelfrey studies policing and their training at VCU. Dealing with distraught people is one of the most frequent uh, obligations or responsibilities of a police officer. By December 2021, the newly passed Marcus Alert Bill will create teams of mental health specialists to accompany police responding to crises like on that bridge. Ideally, they work in tandem and the counselors and the police can find a balance where they're able to help people as effectively as possible. I allowed her to talk. So how does Officer Jones explain the key to saving a life? Treating them like a person is the main thing. Understanding that, hey, outside of this uniform, I'm a person just like you. Well, we're told that woman in crisis was then taken to the hospital for treatment. And get this, this is not a first for Officer Jones. Last year, he was awarded the Bronze Valor Award for saving a man from attempting to jump off the Manchester Bridge. Officer Jones is just 26 years old. We can't wait to see what he does next. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.